paint all the pigs. Hello and welcome back to step 3 of this painting guide. Today it is the 28th of January 2016 and let's go into detail and check out what we have been doing with the model so far. This is actually a very fantastic model and I think Games Workshop really outdid themselves. The, the only complaint I have is that you don't get to choose what kind of uh, sidearm he has. I would have preferred that he that you could choose if he wanted a bolt pistol or a plasma pistol. And I said that he's holding this way too high. I think it should be, look better if he held it down here. So it looks like he's actually swinging it. Here it just looks silly in that sort of sense. So what we're gonna do here in, in the first step is we're gonna use Rakeland Flesh Shade and that's only to paint these uh, bone things on his uh, weapon. Then we're gonna be using Nun Oil and that's more or less all over the model. And then we're gonna apply a transfer sheet and then luckily we have this from the Betrayal of Calf. And if we zoom in a little bit here you will see that there is one that's particularly made for the Chaplain these two. Uh, one is, uh, I believe, a right shoulder pad which is uh, partially covered by his cloak and then a text room for his um, left shoulder pad. So we're gonna use that. And then we're gonna cover that in matte varnish just to give a protective layer. So in a quick conclusion on what we're gonna do is Reichland Flesh Shade on the weapon, non oil all over the model, apply a transfer sheet on his shoulder pads and then matte varnish all over the model. Now you know what we're gonna do for the next step, so see you all in the last step, in the last step everyone. Hello and welcome back to step 4 of this painting guide. Today it is the 4th of February 2016. And let's go into detail and check out what we have been doing with the model so far. Man, this is a fantastic model and the painting job, it's not too shabby if I might say so myself. I think it's quite decent for me as an average painter. Oh man, I, I, I'm simply in love with it, <laughs> I have to admit. Admit. Spin this around. Do you see the mark of the wire bearers? I was undecided if I was gonna add some markings to the cloak, but I decided nah, don't ruin this. There's already so much with the markings here on the chest piece, as you can see here. But yeah, so that's more or less everything I had for this uh, segment of the painting guide. Thank you very much for watching it. Uh, don't forget to rate and subscribe to my channel. Please give a thumbs up on my videos. And also leave comments on things I'm doing good so keep on doing them. And leave negative critique on things I'm doing bad so either improve or remove the content entirely. And also don't forget to share this with your friends if it could be interesting, entertaining or simply inspiring. And also don't forget I'm also on Facebook these days. I have a Facebook page with the link in the description down below here. Uh, just click on that, go in, check it out, see if you like it. If you like it, do click, uh, click the thumbs up and like me there. And follow me closely and interact more personally with me on that Facebook page. You can be there to decide me uh, with me on certain things I want to do or which I am undecided on what to do with. But other than that, thank you very much for watching this painting guide. Death to the False Emperor. Bye!